A madman from Gotham's past returned to terrorize my city. He drew me into his twisted game, striking at the things I hold most dear. But I survived his deadly traps. I emerged the victor. But the cost was too great. Lucius Fox is dead. Riddler is dead. And with him, the only lead I had to taking down the greatest danger Gotham has ever faced. And the person best equipped to help me is a threat to my deepest secret. The Riddler was going to be my way in once we captured him alive. But now I have you to lean on. A man who lives on both sides of the line and knows exactly when to cross it. Yes, you and I will be working together very closely. Bruce Wayne. First thing you need to know, I can keep your secret. And since you've been doing right by me, I'll continue to keep it. No reports, nothing. No one else needs to know. To deal with the present threat, though, I need both of you. The man inside and outside the mask. You have to understand, I'm not the enemy here. It may seem that way right now, but I'm not. Our problems are far too big for us to be bickering among ourselves. You shouldn't see me as an adversary. Convince Gordon of that, and things will go smoothly. Fine, I'll extend an olive branch if that's what it takes to make you happy. Gordon's a stubborn old mule. But I haven't shown the height of diplomacy myself. When Riddler's friends hear he's dead, they ain't gonna just carry on carrying on. They might get sloppy. They might want revenge. Or they might simply accelerate their plans. I'm gonna need eyes everywhere in Gotham. A man like Bruce Wayne, with all his influence and resources, can go places Batman can't. You understand what I'm saying, don't you? Your public persona could be a great help to us here. Maybe even as much as Batman in certain situations. I know when to be Batman and when to be Bruce. It's the mask that fits best at the time. Tactical. Now you're speaking my language. What the hell? <laughs> Looks like the whole city's under attack. We've got a report of a raid on the Gotham PD arsenal. If those bastards get their hands on our weapons... This is coordinated. It's Riddler's gang. It has to be. We're gonna need Batman for this one. Agreed. Emergency services is already pushed to the limit. Well, then we'll have to redeploy patrol officers to defend the arsenal. Don't divert any men, Gordon. I can handle the arsenal call. Let go already! Let's move, people. This is what we trained for. There's been an attack in the financial district. Biotech company on the west side is under siege. What you came for. You don't need me. Well, you better hope that's not true. I'll live your usefulness and the boss will make a pretzel out of your neck. We'll keep running your mouth. Maybe I'll splatter you all over the wall. Really big one. He he made me give him the keys to the armored transport vehicles. 
I didn't want to, I swear. It's okay. Get out of here. Now. Thank you, Batman. Hey, you about done? Yeah, yeah, just about. All right. I'll make it one more round. Hurry it up. yourself. But you can call me Bane. <laughs> a man cannot win a war alone. fight well, but you fight alone, you will die alone. <laughs> See why Riddler wanted to be the one to kill you. Riddler is dead. He's dead. Yeah, Riddler? You should be worrying about yourself. I promised my men a hell of a battle if ever I faced you. And I'd hate to disappoint them. Oh, I haven't faced a true warrior since I left Peña Duro prison. And there, even the fiercest of men were often subdued driven mad by brutal hours of cold, dark desolation. Save your strength, man. This one is mine. Nothing to fear, my friend. Keep your eyes. 
eyes open. Don't let anyone follow you through the warehouse. Don't worry, we'll do the battle in my eyes. Safe travels, my friend. I need you to help us push this thing off you. Come on! You can do it! It's moving! Jesus Christ. Come on. The mechanic. Where is he? He didn't make it. Damn it. He saved my life. Batman? It's okay, Jim. I just need a minute. The entire GCPD arsenal raided? Every single armored personnel carrier stolen? With those and the hardware they stole? Christ, I don't want to think about it. I just want to know who these sons of bitches are. There's only one of them that matters. He called himself Bane. His men loaded the weapons onto the APCs, said they were taking them to a warehouse near the docks. They need to be found. I'm already taking orders from Waller. Well, I gotta take it from you, too? So that's how it is. I'm sorry, Jim. But the city will be in danger if you don't. <sighs> I'll, uh, see what I can do. Put whatever manpower we can spare on the search for those armored vehicles. In the field, and watching CCTV feeds. Yes, sir. You know, I'm still mad as hell at you. Why? Interrogating that Riddler goon without my damn consent. I only agreed to work with you because I thought you were a man of principle. Someone who wanted to step out of the shadows and into the light. I don't know what's going on with you and Waller, but... You've changed. It's like I don't even know who you are anymore. Waller, she has something on me. Oh, Jesus, Batman. What? No, wait. Tell me later. I've already got enough to worry about. I'm glad you called me with this. Good to know this partnership still means something. But I won't lie. We've still got a ways to go. <sighs> right on time. I'll get to the Batcave. See if I can make some sense of what happened tonight. So, what did I miss? Oh, I was at the scene of a heist at the Gotham brokerage house when Batman called me here. What were they after? We're still getting a full account. Once the dust settles, I'll send you everything we've got. 
Detective Bullock's writing up a full report. I'll have him send you a copy. Officers are ready for your deployment orders. I've got to get going. Your partner, Avesta. How is she? Still in the hospital. The doctors say the hearing damage could be permanent. Damn it, it should have been me. I failed her. I put her in danger. It's my fault. Hold on to that anger. You'll need it. Avesta says anger can be productive. If you put it to good use. She's right. Look, I owe you one for saving my life back there. So I gotta warn you. Waller flipped when she heard you called Gordon instead of her. You really should stay on Waller's good side for as long as you can. For everyone's sake. I'll tell Avesta you asked about her. Alfred, prep the med bay. We're going to need it. are not fine, Bruce. <laughs> None of this is fine. You were nearly killed tonight. Those minutes of silence, waiting for you to respond, they were the worst of my life. But I didn't know if you were alive or dead, or if... if I would ever see you again. I'm so sorry to put you through that, Hal. You'll just do it again tomorrow? We already lost Lucius. I couldn't bear losing you, too. Uh, uh, we, we can talk about all this later. Come on now. Let's get you patched up. As if he wasn't bad enough, now Director Waller knows your identity. That information in her hands? Waller isn't the one we need to worry about. Bane is still on the loose, with enough guns to arm a small militia. Oh, I... I understand. The man died for you tonight, Bruce. Trying to save you from that monstrosity. Too many have died. In too short a time. The cost of this war, it just continues to rise. Alfred, we will get through this. You know that, right? This storm will pass. Yes, I, I know that, Bruce, and I'm sorry for not being my resolute self. It's just this bane is terrifying. We've never seen this kind of destructive power before. Waller was right about one thing. Riddler was just a small part of a larger threat. Let's begin with the dart I pulled from his neck. Got it? I'm good. Thanks, Al. Huh. There's still some toxin left in here. What kind of toxin? Something new. There's a whole series of powerful psychoactive meds in this cocktail. Drugs that are lethal when combined. Who could have come up with such a concoction? And did the same person pull the trigger? Bane's attack was one of three tonight, all at the same time. Let's bring him up, get an assessment of the damage. Gothcorp Labs, genetic research facility. Where do we even start with this? Yes. I have no idea. 
Authorities can't determine what was even stolen until all of that melts. At least 20 dead, some completely encased in ice. The others were frozen solid. Some of their limbs shattered as they fled. Waller's intel shows that the thieves made off with numerous pieces of equipment used in the storage and transportation of biological material. I don't even want to think what they bought that for. No IDs on any suspects, though. Security cameras frozen. All witnesses dead. Gotham brokerage. Ten million in diamonds stolen. Some safety deposit boxes emptied. Contents unknown. Over a dozen dead, and even more wounded. Mostly by gunshot, though some victims had their heads smashed in. Oh, that's barbaric! Witnesses place Harleen Quinzel at the scene. Dressed up as a clown, and wielding a mallet. Don't ask me. Riddler's friends are as insane and gruesome as he was. Perhaps even more. Those same witnesses say that she acted alone. All that carnage. All by herself. Guns? Money? Biotech? What are they planning? We won't know until we get to Bane. I don't mean to cause offense, but you're in no shape to beat the information out of that monster. Or take on his friends, if it comes to it. We've already seen how formidable Bane is on his own. Taking on all of them, 
That would be suicide in your current condition. You're right, Alfred. I hate to say it, but I'm not exactly ready for round two. One thing's for sure. We can't just sit around waiting for them to strike again. We've seen the kind of devastation these killers can cause. You told Waller you knew when to be Batman and when to be Bruce. Riddler said his friends abandoned him at the Lady of Dublin. He alluded to the fact that John Doe was one of them. If that's the case, then John can get you close to the others. He already wants you to meet them. John Doe might be your best chance of getting inside, finding out what they're up to. You're right. John's my ticket in. If I play my cards right, John might tell me most of what I want to know. Uh, well, the less you have to mingle with his friends, the better I'll feel about all this. It'll be dangerous approaching Bane and his people this way. I'll be suspicious of anyone who isn't a proven criminal. You'll have to give the performance of a lifetime to pull the wool over their eyes. Bruce Wayne has influence, an endless bank account, and as of last year, questionable integrity. Everything a criminal network looks for in a new recruit. So that's it then. I find John Doe and accept his offer. Good thing you hid that tracking device on him when you had the chance. The stack deck, that's where he is. I suppose you couldn't wait an hour or two while you rest. Not a chance. Batman? I'll tell you about Batman. He's no hero. The way I see it, he's just a bunch of hired muscle for rich guys. Guys like Bruce Wayne. I see. Willie, really, tell Bruce Wayne how that makes you feel. Uh, okay. It feels... No, Willie, really, he's on your right. It feels like crap, Wayne. Preach! And you're just a huge, colossal, gigantic, spoiled piece of sh Oh, uh, <laughs> I am... Uh, <laughs> I mean, uh, uh... I'm gonna ignore what I heard. No harm done. <laughs> you set me up. Nonsense! Bruce! Uh, uh, don't mind Willie. We're just messing with you. You look like you could use a drink. I, uh, I run a therapy circle here every second Sunday. These people need the expertise that I learned in Arkham. A tracker, Bruce? Really? I gotta say, I'm disappointed. I thought we'd built more trust between us. I'm sorry, John. All I could think of was getting to Riddler. You were my best chance. I... I should have just... Waited for me to get back to you? Like I said I would? Hey, I said I was sorry. It's rude, duplicitous, and kind of stalkery. But I understand. All is forgiven. Coming to him. Authorities are refusing to comment on the death of the mysterious criminal known as Riddler. Who am However, I? Who am I? You're a rotting, murder, stinking corpse. That's who you are. <laughs> John, 
Did you have anything to do with the Riddler's death? I mean, I hated the guy, but... Jeez, Bruce. You really think I'd be capable of cold-blooded murder? After everything you know about me, you really think I'd do that? I wouldn't have blamed you. Riddler deserved everything he got. Why, Bruce? Seems like you hated him even more than I did. Maybe you pulled the trigger. Wouldn't that be a guess? <laughs> anyway, I was a little surprised to see you, Bruce. I'm guessing this is about that favor I asked. Look, before we get into that, I need to come clean. Riddler was more connected to my friends than I'd let on at the funeral. Riddler? Really? Yeah, he was kind of our leader, but he was just so bad at it and so intolerably annoying. I, I thought he'd be out of the picture by the time you came around. I should have told you. I just... I didn't want you to think we were all like him. No secrets between us. Ever again, you have my word. I pinky swear. <sighs> pinky swear. Friends for life! <laughs> And Bruce, friends don't plant tracking gadgets on each other. You've got my number. All right, let's go meet the guys. I'll let them know we're on our way. Hey! I'm out of medicine. I don't like your face. I think bothering my friend John <laughs> you've got the wrong idea we're just having a friendly chat you calling me a liar you shouldn't have walked in here <laughs> that was your first mistake and it's gonna be your last mistake kiss your ass goodbye Perfect! What a lovely violence. What the hell are you doing to my boss? Lily had a problem. We took care of it. Is he dead? I said we took care of it. Alright, freak show. I'm calling the Come on. <laughs> Better get out of here. Mm -hmm. 